watching Baltimore's most up-to-the-minute news, weather, and sports. ABC2 News, the latest at 11. It has been one of the most emotional debates in Baltimore County. But tonight, finally a plan to deal with school overcrowding. Just a little more than an hour ago, the school board made its recommendation to solve the problems at four Towson Elementary Schools. Christian Schaefer has been following this story, and he joins us live from school board headquarters. Chris? Yeah, Terry, the four elementary schools that serve the Towson area, Hampton, Riderwood, Stonely, and Rogers Forge, are 451 students over capacity. Tonight, the county school board voted to do something about it. Bye. Bye. The problem is most evident at Rogers Forge Elementary, where the entire fourth and fifth grade classes spend their school year in trailers. On hot days, it's like, it's like so hot and also when it's cold you have to wear your jacket to classes. You have to walk inside to go to the bathroom and the doors are locked so you have to get somebody to let you in. Parents have been waiting for a solution and they finally got one at this school board meeting. One in particular is to construct a new standalone comprehensive elementary school on the Ridge Ruxton site. The plan is different from an earlier proposal to expand the Ridge Ruxton School, which is now used only for special needs kids. The board passed it with just one dissenting vote. Board member Roger Jansen said he's not convinced a separate building is possible. And I do not support <clears throat> no way, shape or form putting an addition onto the school that sits there. But Jansen and the other board members were promised. It's a, it's a new school. It's not an addition. Parents of kids from the crowded schools say they're pleased. I feel like it's the first step, but if this were the family vacation and we were leaving for Ocean City right now, I think we'd be packing the car. But they know more work needs to be done. Yeah, and if all goes as planned, that new school could open for the fall of 2010. Now, parents have always been concerned that the county executive, Jim Smith, has been blocking plans to build a new school. Tonight, a spokeswoman for Jim Smith told me, quote, the county executive is very encouraged by what sounds like a promising solution. State Superintendent Nancy Grasmick was also at tonight's meeting, and she said that she sees nothing in state or federal law that would prevent a new school from being built on the Ridge Ruxton site. Live in Baltimore County, Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.